guys at Fliptronics, and I'm going to be showing you a cool trick for how you can set pictures as widgets on iOS 15. Now if you've never done this it's actually pretty cool you need to use a third-party app called Widgetsmith. First thing I want to do however is show you I am on iOS 15. Now as I'm going over this if you could also smash the like button on this video I would greatly appreciate it if you haven't subscribed please do that as well. Okay so let's take a look at Widgetsmith right now it's free to you know download there is a couple paid options within it but honestly I've never touched the paid option, so I don't think you need to either. Now, I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna open it up real quick. And what's cool about Widgetsmith is there's a lot of things you can do in here. Now, they've got three different sizes for widgets that you can create. They've got a small, a medium, and a large. You can see I've actually created a, you know, a couple in here. I've got like a Robin Hood icon, and then I've got the Hulk right there. But I'm gonna create maybe one or two um, from scratch, all right? So let's do a medium one first. Now, when you go to create a widget on here, there's gonna be a photo option. It's usually like somewhere in the middle. Now, when you click on photo, uh, you're gonna need to select a photo. So I'm just gonna grab one real quick. And we've got the Shiba Inu cryptocurrency. I think I'm just gonna use that. That looks pretty pretty slick, right? Okay, anyways, when you have it ready to go, you just wanna go back one time, click save. And now we're gonna get ready to add this widget. Okay, so let's search for widget smith. Should be all the way at the bottom. Okay, and now when you go to add it, they're gonna you know, ask you which size you wanna add and we wanna go with the medium option. All right, um, so it's gonna put up a stock option. You just need to hold down on the widget and then you're gonna see you know, your different you know, ones you can choose from. So I think we had like four or five different medium size ones, but we're gonna click on number three and boom, we got the Shiba Inu right there. How, how cool does that look? Um, now I'm gonna do another example. We're gonna do a, a large one. So we're gonna go with the large fry option here. And you can have a lot of fun with this. I'm also going to show you that, you know, it's not only, you know, setting uh, whatever pictures is widgets, but you can do some other things as well. But let's uh, let's do a large here. I think I've got another cool Shiba Inu picture. I guess I'll just use it. Boom. Looks pretty cool. All right, I'm going to click save. And now we're going to go add a large fry widget here. Getting that large fry. Okay, I'm gonna switch it. Now, yeah, when you add, when you create multiple, uh, you know, widgets on Widgetsmith for the sizes, you just need to kind of like switch them over like that every time. But yeah, look at that. We got Shiba Inu dogs going on there. It's pretty, uh, pretty nifty. Okay, and um, yeah, the last thing I just want to say here is there are other things you can do in Widgetsmith, so I just want to point that out. Um, there's a lot of different customizations, uh, you know, for creating widgets on here and. You know, like I said, this is all free. None of this is paid, but they do have some paid options. But honestly, just stay away from it. Uh, okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can have a lot of fun with this app. It's actually one of the most, uh, you know, I think downloaded apps for, you know, creating widgets in general, which makes it pretty awesome, I guess. Um, and you can have a lot of fun, like I said. All right, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, smash the like button if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you uh, in the next one.